good morning dear friends myself sunil as sonigra working as a lecturer in mechanical engineering department at government polytechnic rajkot and today i am going to discuss about the solution of gtu examination question paper in the subject of mechanical drafting i have conducted the solution of the question paper from exam june 2012 in the subject of mechanical drafting previously we discussed about few questions related to this question paper we solved three questions 1 1a 1b and 2a today we will discuss some more questions and their solutions we will also discuss how to write the solution of your question paper in examination how to do time planning and which aspects should be given more importance as far as the examination is concerned let me discuss first some of the important hints while you start your question paper the first thing to write the question paper is the time management we should manage our time such that no time should left vacant and enough time should be given to each question paper question here 180 minutes we are given for five questions means 36 minute per question is available to us hence for seven marks we can spare 18 minutes within 18 minutes we have to solve the question we have to think about the solution we have to draw in our answer sheet so this is the time management for our question paper clearly mention question number on each on first page when the question starts in drawing subjects specifically in engineering drawing and mechanical drafting people forget to write question number on the page so it clearly in between at the middle on top of the page you should mention the answer number or question number at the top then new question should be written or drawn on the new page only 2a and 5b etc should but should not be mixed with each other on one page then insert necessary dimensions in the drawings people forget to insert the dimensions in the drawing it is very important and maintain cleanliness of the drawing sheet means we have to use h to h lead only no hb or b lead should be used h and to h are lighter and they should be used in drawing otherwise what will happen when we erase our drawing then the page will be blackened so it will reduce the cleanliness of our question paper of our answer sheet mention mention name of views like top view front view side view etc whichever is asked in your question paper people forget to write the name of view below the drawings name points with standard notations like for front view name small a small b small c etc for front view a days b days c days etc and write appropriate scale below the drawing in some cases it's needed to use some reduced scale or enlarged scale if you have used appropriate scale one jam one then it may not be needed to write the scale but if the scale is changed say enlarged or reduced one two jam one or one jam two in that case it should be mentioned below the drawing and do proper planning and then start a drawing in a drawing subject it's very important to do planning of the drawing suppose front view top view and side view are to be drawn first we have to do time management then after planning of usages of the paper because sometimes it happens that the drawings goes outside the paper so it's not it should not be there now question number 1 a hexagonal prism 25 mm side and 60 mm height dimensions are given it is resting on hp on one of its edge the edge on which it rests makes an angle of 30 degree with vp draw its projection this we drawn last time it carries seven marks the solution was we had drawn it is like this draw top view front view tilt the front view then take projections and then this is the solution of question number 1a now we discuss question number 1b the solution of question number 1b is like this a square prism is given square pyramid is given it is cut by a cutting plane which makes an angle of 30 degree with xy line and it cuts the axis at height of 30 mm from the boy base that is it bisects its axis hence its solution would appear like this question number 1b then question number 2a 
a cone is given draw the development of cone cut as shown in figure the cone is given like this we have to develop this cone angle is 60 degree it's given so the solution that what we discussed last time is this this is the solution of this given problem find out angle theta 160 degree then after draw this angle and cut arcs and the uh, and so on complete this solution now new question question number 2b draw by the same method of projection first sectional front view from a at this and the left hand side view now this drawing is given to us and from this drawing we have to draw two views sectional front view from a a a a is here here is a here is a so this is cutting plane and here it is asked that it's a sectional front view it means that this would be our front view hence the projection method which is used over here is third angle projection method it is not first angle projection method because front view is drawn below its top view this is top view this is front view and we have to draw left hand side view so of course in third angle projection method left hand side view is drawn to the left side of its front view so this is front view and to the left side over here the side view would be drawn so here first we have to do planning of our drawing in our drawing this would appear this view would appear and here left hand side view would appear to draw this left hand side view it's a problem of missing view and to draw this left hand side view first we have to imagine which 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 would be the isometric view of this object how this object would appear so for that let me start doing imagination from here this is cylinder you can see here and it's a hollow cylinder having two diameters id and od and this is its front view so first we have to draw the cylinder in isometric view and then after nearby the cylinder here a circular extension is there with some radius and a circular hole so we have to draw isometric view of this portion then after we can draw isometric view of, of this back side in so to solve the, this problem we need not to draw its isometric view to the scale we can draw rough isometric view of this drawing also and before that let me discuss how to draw its sectional front view as it is it is asked sectional front view from a at s so to draw this sectional front view this is the problem the sectional front view is given over here so first we have to redraw this drawing this drawing is given to us this drawing is given to us just we have to redraw as per the given dimension then here a cutting plane is given the set this portion is cut so this a a this is the cutting plane a a as shown over here this is a and this is a cut portion and this object is cut somewhere here like this from this portion so draw this cutting plane like this two days and one small days two days and one small days so this is cutting plane now when we cut this portion this material will not come into contact with this cutting plane so here no section line would be there but after cutting this edge would be visible to us hence this dotted line would be converted into solid line so this line would be visible if it is cut somewhere over here now if we can look we will we, we look at this cutting plane like this we start from here no material is cut up to this extent after that here some material is cut here edge is there and here some material is cut and here some material is cut and that area is to be shown over here like this this edge would be visible if you cut it so this would be a full line because it's visible now these lines here this is a triangular rib it would be appear but here no cutting line should be drawn or extension line or this uh, h line should be should not be drawn in the supports and ribs so here we will not draw section line here also we will not draw section line then here a circular hole is drilled somewhere here like so it, in this portion from here to here material will not come into contact with this cutting plane so in this portion also section line will not be there 
Hence, this dotted line would appear as a full line like this. So, this is circular hole which would appear like this after cutting this plane and here we have to draw H lines or called as section lines in this portion only because in this portion only material will come into contact with a cutting plane. So, in this portion we can draw cutting plane line like this or section lines and this section lines should make an angle of 45 degree with x y line because section a yeah, thus that 45 degree would be on any side it could be on this side or on reverse side also. So, after drawing this cutting plane line this section lines in this portion we have to remove the lines which are below this section lines like this here triangle is there it should be removed because it is a cutting portion like this. So, this is the solution of this sectional front view and here this triangle it is a support. So, it is not cut hence here section line should not be drawn like this this section line should be erased and it should be drawn by full line. So, this is its sectional front view it is drawn over here like this this is the actual problem this is the solution in this solution this line is drawn which shows the support this line is drawn which shows the support and this portion is cut from AA hence this would appear like this. So, this is the solution of first solution of given problem this is sectional front view AA if you can write here and it is needed to insert the dimensions whichever are needed to reproduce the same drawing at least once all these dimensions should be inserted in the drawing. Now, we think about the missing view of given object we have given we are given these two views from these two views we can imagine that its isometric view would appear like this it it it, it could be drawn roughly like this you can see here this is the problem two views are there top view top view and front view and this pro this would be its isometric view now to draw its missing view we will use this isometric view we have to draw left hand side view so when when i am looking from this direction and my left left hand is on this side so when i look from here whatever would appear that i have to redraw to the left side of its sectional front view so it would appear like this now to draw the left hand side view again we have to redraw this top view and front view now from front view we can imagine the size of its left hand side view height would be equal from here take projections draw 45 degree line from there take vertical lines and this would be the left hand side view outlines now in this object you can see here this circular hole is there inside this rib so we have to draw these ribs like this the rib would appear like this from here to here and in between rib is not there a gap is there so it would appear like this and here this gap is from top to bottom so that we can represent by two lines like this from top to bottom two vertical lines to show the edges like this so these two edges we have drawn and this is a hole circular hole inside this so that we can draw like this as it is a circular hole we can draw axis of that hole axis should be drawn like this and circular hole is there inside this so that could be shown by dotted lines like this because it is a hole so it would not appear and hence so, this rib we have drawn like this after drawing this rib we think about this internal cylinder this edges. So, there these edges would we can take projections from here from here to here from here to here. So, it would appear just two straight vertical lines 
like this from top to bottom because it's an internal portion it will not be visible hence this is a dotted line which shows the circular hole or a hollow cylinder like this so we have drawn this cylindrical inner portion now how to draw this rib this ribs which are behind this side so it will not be appear and to draw those ribs we will use the concept of dotted line these ribs are the width is given this is the width which is given in the dimension the width of this rib is 10 16 and 10 so this thickness is 10 16 10 and total width is equal to the radius and radius of the rib is equal to 12 so it would appear like this a dotted line here also dotted line as it's not visible then here also dotted line as it's not visible and this dotted line would be here like this and this dotted dotted line which we have drawn here that represents this rib mind well this rib not this circular hole so here dotted line would be from here to here which represents it this below portion which is behind this <coughs> now how to draw this circular hole in this section so for that let me take projection from here and it would appear like this a dotted line from this end to this end like this and from this end to this end like this this is the solution it's a left hand side view of given drawing and in examination you have to draw this problem like this this is final solution and this is top view sectional front view and left hand side view in any of two views you have to insert the dimensions suppose in top view and front view or top view and sectional front view we can insert the dimension in any third view the dimension